Farmers attending this year's University of Illinois Corn and Soybean Classic Series of statewide meetings were updated again by extension entomologist Mike Gray. He's followed the exploits of the western corn rootworm for most of his career. The insect, which can cause a corn crop to fail, has adapted over time to most of the ways farmers try to control it. That's happening again right now. The western has adapted to Monsanto's YieldGuard BT technology. Northeast Iowa, I know there's been confirmation of resistance in a number of fields in that area of the state. And then if you look in Illinois, we've primarily focused in on northwestern Illinois, uh, two counties specifically, Whiteside and Henry, where we know we had at least uh, some producer fields where using plant bioassays we were able to confirm you know, that um, this 3BB1 protein was just not holding up. It is the first yield guard protein built into seed corn hybrids. The Illinois entomologist warns farmers that those in areas where the western has adapted to yield guard should probably choose one different option to battle the insect this season. Rotating crops is best, but there are other choices. I think growers may ought to uh, consider uh, maybe planting a non-BT hybrid in some cases uh, and Along with that, consider using a soil insecticide on that non-BT hybrid. Consider the use of a uh, pyramided hybrid. Uh, and, I, and as I'll talk about today, even with a lot of those pyramids, th there's still some challenges there from a resistance management perspective. In some cases, growers uh, may want to consider the use of an adult control program. You know, uh, scouting fields, using thresholds, deciding whether or not it in a, you know, uh, an aerial treatment may be needed to suppress egg laying. Any one different thing a farmer can do to mix up the control tactics is probably a good thing. It, however, is important to choose just one. An over-reliance on the same technology year after year has really led us down uh, some paths that have, you know, led to resistance uh, historically. So Gray's recommendation is to rotate crops or use a different BT technology or apply a soil insecticide or plan to control the adult western corn rootworm and always to use just one of those options. For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason.